The cave of Harry Hatchcock. Now, you gotta be very careful right now because the first thing, this is your very first secret of the game. You get four coins, not just four coins. Alright? You get your flower. Not just your flower, you get your key to your way out of this cave. So, you see how important this is, and you are most certainly sure that you better use it. Uh, that was the last star, I'm gonna ignore it. Uh, Alright, do, is to your advantage to use the red watermelon? Which, ironically, I don't have, because I told you guys not to get it. Dang. That was idiotic on my part, but I guess the... I guess the frozen watermelon looks well. Well, yeah, the blue one also works very well. You can freeze and then you get to annihilate them right off the way. There we go, get rid of them. Once again, you get another number of coins over there. Get rid of this guy, I don't like it. I don't like hedgehogs. Hedgehogs are like spiders. You can eat them. That's the worst part. If you can eat them, it makes my life so much easier. But, Boohoo, the game shows that you cannot eat them. Oh yeah, by the way, this is a take two because I am an idiot and I accidentally went to the exit without getting my last flower, so... Dang! And the worst part is you can't really re-enter the cave, so if you haven't got it, good luck. You're gonna restart the level to come back to get it. Um, bah, idiot. Alright, uh... Is the advantage to come there? Alright. This way. And then. Ah, idiot. Not a wise move on my part there. Um, so, what I'm gonna do right now is that I'm not gonna continue on with the course. I'm just gonna climb up here so I'm gonna go get some more points. Because, uh, you have two red coins around this place. It's a slow, tedious process, and I know, I am irritated by it. Get rid of some dirt while you're at it first. So, you lock down, jump, then you get your coins, and after you did that, then you become a mole, again. This cave is actually really short, but if you cannot get the first one down, then you're pretty much wasted for the rest of the course. Ah, idiot, idiot! That was dumb. Uh, I'm gonna have to restart this, I think. Alright, these coins have nothing, so don't worry. Da, dang. I have problems controlling that. Take three on the watermelon, on the, nah, not watermelon, the mole tank! Ah, I don't like this thing. I never liked it. But good thing I missed you these more ones, so. That's good. What the heck? It's very uncontrollable, that's why. That's why I tend to dislike this thing. In fact, all power-ups, I'd rather just be Yoshi. No, I don't need to be a, any weird vehicle. But come here. That's how you get up there and get your eggs. Blah, blah. Stars. Grab your egg meter and check boy. Not just that. Now. Uh, Three red coins are there, so as you can, as you realize, oh yo, bah! I missed my last red coin there. I gotta go back get it. Bah! Ah, irritating. No, I was doing so well until these hedgehogs came about. I have to annihilate you. I'm sorry. That's just how this, the evenness of this world works. Die. So that's where that gets you, but I'm gonna come back down, jump, make ourselves the easy way out of this maze. Because we are missing one with the coin. 
and that is the result of my inaccuracy. Now, when you come back down, do not land there. Do not land there. That's an idiotic move on all on all levels on so many levels. Come down here. This is your last flower. Get that, man. This is a this is kind of like a throwback to the uh, yellow switch palace. Yeah, the yellow switch palace in the the very first Super Mario World. This is this is Super Mario World 2, but in GBA it's not considered Mario World. But anyways, that is your last flower. And then what you want to do right now is you want to do that. Use the pipe as a stepping stone to get your way out here. And then, as always, before we end, actually, you know what? There we go. I have no idea what that does, but whatever it does, that's pretty cool. There we go, that's what it does. Oh, so that's what you're supposed to do. Then you can hit that. Ah, what a tragedy. I could have gotten so many points, but ah, it's okay. So these are not red coins. Don't bother. Before you end, I don't want to do this level again. I'm going to use my item. Uh, where's it? I'm going to try to use my 10s before I can start using my 20s. I hope it's a memory game, because it's a memory game, I can get some more. We're gonna be playing a mini game, right? Let's cheat! Ha ha ha! Awesome as a handful! Bah! Ah, they're wrong! That's more like it. So I'm gonna take a photo of that. So this is what you gotta wanna see there. I had to get a blur photo because it was going to run out, so I had to get it. So but I gotta get it quick. Um, bah. But based on what I can see right now, I need to know which two are the ones and uh killing my eyes. Alright, first off, I think we're just gonna review that. Alright. Now I know what's what already. Okay. Um this time if you if you ignore the red watermelon in the last round, this time I guess you should go get the red watermelon. And then you've got 20 stars here. You have 10 stars. Here. And I'm gonna ignore the green watermelon this time. You should never ever ignore the blue one because freezing your enemies, that is pretty cool. Let's face it. Freezing your enemies and then using them and then killing them. That is badass. You want to use it. And your last one, you're not going to get the watermelon, you're going to get 10 ups. And I've got 170 lives. What the heck? You know, my other account, the one which I'm trying to 100% on it because I'm left with the secret stages, that only has like 20 lives because I lost all in extra 3 and extra 5. Dun -dun. Anyways. Thanks you, thank you for watching and subscribe for more videos to come.